The Air Force Small Business Innovation Research Program awards qualifying companies the needed funding, spurring technology development for the Department of Defense and our warfighters. Major prime contractors leverage the Air Force SBIR program, gaining an agile advantage against our adversaries. Lockheed Martin has really been supplemented by the Air Force SBIR program. I think the one that stands out the most significantly to us is the F-35 program. My name is Craig Owens. I am the Small Business Innovation Research Program Manager at Lockheed Martin. We were really trying to drive down production times and the span times on the factory floor. There are a number of SBIR efforts that came together to reduce a lot of span times, a lot of manufacturing touch labor, and there is actually documented savings on the F-35 program of a half a billion dollars for the life cycle of the F-35 program just due to SBIR. Lockheed Martin integrates the SBIR program at phase zero before small businesses are starting their proposal efforts, collaborating with those companies as they're developing the phase one and twos. Relationships are built during that interaction level. Our team has showed how vital the Air Force SBR program is, is to Lockheed. It's an external funding mechanism that allows us to go work with SBIR companies who are very smart, innovative, more agile than a large company like Lockheed can be. The example of Valley Tech Systems, they can do those kind of things. Valley Tech Systems was able to put this test together in less than a month for us to get out here and record it and do it. And so the agility of that type of research and development is incredibly important to our technology development at Lockheed Martin. The reason Lockheed Martin values the Air Force SBIR program so much is that it constantly allows us the opportunity to collaborate and partner with our Air Force customer and leverage their R&D investment to achieve innovative technical solutions that benefit the warfighter. Lockheed Martin has worked with Valley Tech Systems for about five years, collaborating on propulsion-related research and development projects. Propulsion technologies are essential for the strategic missile and missile defense systems that Lockheed Martin provides to the Department of Defense. In the early stages of development, Valley Tech Systems integrated with Lockheed Martin for future strategic missile defense applications for a post-booster propulsion system. During the SBIR program, Valley Tech Systems developed a prototype of their technology to meet the critical requirements of Lockheed Martin. Some of the studies that we've done with our commercialization partner, Lockheed Martin, has shown that we could decrease the cost of a system in production by up to 10 times. And that's a, um, an enabling, sort of almost a disruptive uh, nature of this technology, but a great benefit to the future of propulsion systems for the U.S. Air Force. Our technical point of contact at the U.S. Air Force is Dr. Sandra Tomzak. Dr. Tomzak supports our program at the Air Force, providing Air Force resources when we need them. Working with Lockheed Martin, it, it brings big opportunity for tech transition because Lockheed Martin gets big contracts and they can always get a subcontract to Valley Tech System to implement their thruster technology on anything that they work. It's good for Valley Tech System, it's good for us, good for Lockheed. One major hurdle small businesses confront is pushing their technology to the finish line. Commonly referred to as the Valley of Death, development stops after the concept and prototype phases are reached and the technology stalls. The SBIR program closes that gap with the additional funding, helping to realize a matured product. The Air Force has, has done a number of things to help us as a major defense contractor bridge that valley of death with offering enhancement funding, offering a program such as the commercialization readiness program. This test that we're seeing today at Valley Tech Systems is a good example of one where we used enhancement funding to get to a test point. The number of, of companies that have contributed to Lockheed Martin across all of our business areas out of the SBR program is really hard for me to put a number on. It's hundreds of great small business innovation research companies like Valley Tech Systems. We are teammates working for the same results for SBR successes. 